Mic test, mic test. Mic test. Okay. We're getting ready to play episode three. Chaos Theory of Life is Strange. Um, Life is Strange. Uh, it's, it's important for me to let you guys know that I did go back in episode two, Out of Time, and I did save Kate. Um, in contrast to what you guys may have seen in the actual video that I did a playthrough on. I went back, I changed up some of my um, choices. And from what I can tell, it seems like the make or break choice, whether or not, choices whether or not, you know, uh, that decides whether or not you save her life or not, are going to be like the last two. But you have to pick her sisters, and then you have to pick like, Matthew eleven twenty three. I don't know what the verse in the Bible was, but I believe it was uh, Matthew eleven twenty three. I, I believe that that's the verse. But you guys will see the Book of Matthew, and that's going to be the two options that you need. So first, you got to pick her sisters, and then you got to pick that verse in the Bible um, in order to save her life. So ongoing kate is going to be alive unless something else random happens and where she gets put in a position where she dies um hopefully that's not the case but i did go back and save her life i wanted to share that little tidbit of information I kind of wish i would have made a video showing how to save her life in the previous episodes of life is strange we called film little pieces of time because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Oh, no, this life is strange. I, I'm seeing why everybody said this, this was such a good game. Like, this is really... All these episodic games that are like this are really fucking good. I don't know if the volume is loud enough, you guys are gonna have to tell me. Yeah, or do you need it louder? Damn, I'm pretty sure when they start talking, it, like it's gonna turn up. Oh, and another, oh, and, 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 and another thing I have to mention, I did turn the music completely off. So I, Got tired of having to deal with, you know, the whole YouTube getting copyrighted and things like that. So the music has been completely turned off. So let me just mention that.
I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. I promise you a wild time. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. These keys are all broken. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. It's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. Ah, fuck it. I'm sitting my ass down. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, 
Gotcha. Max the ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... I don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me. Oh, hey, look, it's the horror Blackwell. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. They weren't. Did she? Well... Being a whore. How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Hi. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. Or a black whale. Don't you think? Or a black whale. You didn't say any of that. You right. might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. 
I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Right. Got to fuck your living in town. Oh, fucking, that's a good word, isn't it? That's ironic, isn't it? Word fucking, hmm. You know, she would have been doing a lot of that. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. And Let's bloody. go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. How come they didn't think to close the door behind them? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. They can close the door behind them, like, you know, who aren't trying to get caught. I'm just saying. <sighs> no keys here. And another thing, who the hell has a full light going on? It's, I understand you need to see, but damn, you gotta... Desolation. Like 500 lumens in the back of that. Nothing to see here. I'm being the most quiet. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Crap. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. <laughs> Don't hate right. me. And thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon.
Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. Where in the hell would sugar be at a time like this? I guess I it. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Why that way? Laugh is like the science lab. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. I have a feeling that's gonna get her in trouble. I never said they were great, troll. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient left. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Please resume your slumber. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. 
You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. I mean, if it's a weed killer, we could probably find it somewhere else. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. I probably should find those items now. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. No, this mixture doth not work. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. I swear, can she just find what she needs to find? 
doing all this motley miscellaneous talk, and she turned How the damn light on like a somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this... Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Like I'm this file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. This should be hanging in a thrift store. Max. You better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. 
We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Fuck okay, it, let's take it. Now nah, wait, because if we take it, um, they ain't gonna get suspicious as to who was in there. Then something might happen to David. Um, dang, when an employee get caught, what the hell am debating this for, man? Let's take that shit. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Maybe they should have turned off the computer. Let's find out what happened if we leave the money. Max, you better come check out an accused. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again, I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. With the handicap one. With the handicap one anyway. You know what? I'm hoping that the handicap one isn't like some type of code word for like his own, you know. Hey. What if that money went to go help cater? If not, I'm going to go back and I'm going to replay it. But for now, I think we better not uh, do. I feel like we're going to get the money again. I, I want to take that money so bad, though. I feel like I feel like if we take it, we're going to end up hurting somebody that really need it. So I better not do that right now. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. 
You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Sometimes. Boys' locker room is right. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Yes, we get it. Otters. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Bros will be bros. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. 
Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if? Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping <laughs> instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. And it's beginning to happen. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. We have to go now. Make sure you cover the whole perimeter. Are you shitting me? I go, Mr. Detective. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Hey! Where are they? Hello? Hey! Where are they? Hello?
Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. Let's bail. And we did actually work. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car! I'm surprised he didn't notice the vehicle. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. 
I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. I knew this was going to happen, and we're going to say no. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Yeah, that homo is a no-go, but you know what, Mr. Wine Time, just do it. You can find a suitable outfit in my fashion. Okay. Do it. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. No, let's not do that. Oh man, the Warren got a good. If you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. Not that easy. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Good 
morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth, if only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens and a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh man, I don't want... I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographer is probably oh, going to take you to yours. I'm and just saying it. Happy choice. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. 
Oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Magic 8 Ball says no. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. I ain't gonna lie, it's kinda cool to see that he kept this little, little trinkets. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I ain't got no way I can trash it. Huh? I 
I'd better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not... Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? This way is going to be a tough one. Because I feel like if I side with David later on down the line, he's actually going to prove to be a benefit. Because I think he's trying to work on this case of Rachel being a Rachel missing, just like these two are. But if I side with Chloe, I feel like it's going to push David away, and it might end up breaking up Joyce and uh, David, and that might ruin the whole thing. So, for now, let me side with David just to see what happens and if I need and if I feel differently I'm gonna just rewind back inside with Chloe listen we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him as far as we know it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far I would cut David slack here oh would you how generous King Max so suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe no, I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Probably can do it. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David, and our family, even if Chloe doesn't. I have a feeling he's gonna help. He's gonna be, he's really gonna help uh, this case. Let's find out what happened to David, I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. 
everybody at Black Hole is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Uh, like I said, I feel like he's helping in the long run. Just right now, he seems like a dick. I feel like he's trying to figure out this whole Rachel disappearance thing as well. Oh, man. Let me see. All right, I think I'm gonna. Okay, for the sake of this, I. Oh man, I'm thinking about future episodes now, and I'm wondering if they're gonna run into each other or have like conflict because of what I did now. And like, if I go back and I side with David, is she gonna be in a situation where I had the option to help her, and then she just doesn't want it because I sided with David already? Like, I'm thinking about that, and, and that just might be the case. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Oh, man. All right. So I'm going to rewind, and I'm going to side with Dave, and that's what I'm going to stick with. I just got this feeling that that's the right thing to do for the sake of the whole of the overall story. Side with David. Like I said, I feel like it's the right thing to do. Because even if I side with Chloe, it, it still might come out that, you know, he's a good guy. Let me just come on. All right, let's, but now let's just side with David. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. I feel like it's not a help. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? 
What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. More nasty shit. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Oh, hey, look, it's the Nathan here. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. I wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> 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 It's funny they let you rewind time after the embarrassment like that. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with <coughs> guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. 
Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy. And do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. What do you want now? <laughs> this is raging. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Holy shit, what do Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. 
I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Hmm. Holy sh Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Max? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Get the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. I should have known. The amazing sp Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, 
Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I Zip, can. not a nothing. For info. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with res- Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. It's taking days to download the porn. Yuck. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses, nothing here. Oh shit, the knife is broken. How can somebody live like this? No prize here. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Ooh, Frank's stash. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed.
I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody. Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? It's triple balls.
and uh, and I think she was taking a little bit too much time in the, uh, the Frank's RV. I think she got a contact high. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't. And Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that I far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimps. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. I'll let her know that. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work. I know they never took that big vacation. Get the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear, What a John. mess we you made. College I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Love you. Hey, Score! I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college? Whoa! Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. Why are my keys under here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. 
Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Chloe and... You're bankrupting me! Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. I wonder if she actually went back in time. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she that was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Yeah, the music is off, so I know this must be the end of the, of the episode. The security guard became a bus driver. Bunch of whales died. I don't even think Chloe living there anymore. Probably moved. Ended up in Italy. That I should just Max Caulfield taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No, I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of. I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Really was Chloe, like to save them. you have a visitor. Holy sh Oh. She had an accident while she was in Italy. Oh, damn. Dude, we fucked up so bad. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up. We fucked up bad. So, we went back in time, saved her dad from getting killed in that car accident. But on the flip side, she went to it. She went on an Italy trip with her father, ended up getting coming a quad paralyzed from the neck down because of what we did. Oh man. We are Oh like his gun was in there? That's news. It looks seventy seven percent. And seventy seven percent of the people actually went through it and it made Max just Chloe. That is some shit. Eighty two percent sided with Chloe. I honestly think I'm gonna keep it that way. Yeah, but I actually wanna go back and replay this episode. Um I wanna see what a gun is. Oh, he has David's gun. Frank has it. Oh, wait a minute. Um, he never took it, so we didn't have to worry about that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, everything is relatively good. Besides the fact I probably would have let her take the money now. I mean, now that I think about it. Dark room, man, this thing, that is crazy. Oh, man. Game almost had me tripping balls, man. That is wild. 